Welcome to the fourth episode of my email marketing series. In this episode, I'll show you from start to finish how to create a simple landing page inside of GetResponse that will make people sign up for your email list. In a previous episode, we've already covered how to create a lead magnet as an incentive for your audience to sign up for your email list. And we've also created your first email list inside of GetResponse. But before we get started with this episode, I want to welcome you to my channel if you're watching one of my videos for the first time. My name is Simon and on this channel you'll get the best tutorials, tips and tools you need to create a successful online business. So consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. And I'll list all the tools and services I'm talking about in this video down below in the description so you can check them out at any point. Also if you don't already have an account with GetResponse, there's a link down in the description that you can use to sign up for a 30 day free trial. So you can pause this video and create your account now if you haven't already. And then we'll get started on creating our landing page. All right, so I'm now back inside of the GetResponse dashboard. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up a simple landing page where we can send uh, people to so they can subscribe to our email list. To do that, we're just gonna click on landing pages up top here and we're going to click on create landing page. Then you're going to see some templates that you can use uh, that GetResponse provides. Um, if you want, you can just scroll down and see if you find something that will really fit um, uh, to what you want to create. Um, I personally like if it's very simple, simple landing pages tend to convert the best. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to build one from scratch. Um, but feel free to just browse through here. Maybe you find something that you really, really like. So I'm going to click on build from scratch and then um, it really doesn't matter which one you choose here. Uh, I just choose uh, the plain template 10 and I'm just going to delete everything anyway. So uh, this will work. So select template and then we have to give uh, the landing page a name. I'm just going to name it example. And the name that you enter here will later um, be displayed on the web browser uh, of people who visit your landing page. So for example, um, this is the landing page that I'm using right now to send um, my audience to. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm giving away an ebook that I've wrote about affiliate marketing. And so you see on the top here, I've na I named it affiliate marketing ebook. And this is actually the website or the, the landing page that we're going to create in this tutorial. Um, just so, so, so you see how it works and you see it's really simple. It's got a white background, just some text and um, a picture and a sign up form. So on the top, uh, you just want to have some some text that that makes uh, the people who visit the landing page want to get what you're giving away. So I have um, entered what is inside of this ebook, what they will learn when they read this ebook. And also um, said that I'm going to send them this ebook to their email inbox. So, so I make sure that they actually enter their email inbox, uh, their actual email that uh, they own. So now uh, you can name it uh, whatever makes sense for your case and then click on next step. Perfect. So now we're in the kind of design uh, tool of GetResponse. And if you like this layout here, you can just use this. You can enter your logo. You can use this and replace it with um, join my newsletter or something. If you don't have a, a lead magnet to give away, I suggest that you actually give something away because you're going to build your list much faster um, if you're giving something away. Um, so for me, I'm just going to delete everything here and I'm just going to build mine um, from scratch. So on the left side, you have the different um, things you can enter here. There's text, there's a picture, a button, a sign up form. So what I'm using uh, for my landing page is um, I'm going to use text on the top and also text above the sign up form. Then we're going to also drag in a sign up form and we're going to choose the static form and um, also I'm going to insert a picture of my ebook that I'm giving away. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, replace this image here with the picture of my ebook. So I'm going to click on replace. All right, I've already uploaded the picture. Um, if you haven't uh, uploaded anything yet, uh, you just click on upload file and then it will appear here so you can choose uh, from your pictures. So I'm going to use the picture here. And if you want to uh, learn how to uh, make this kind of 3D mockup of your ebook or checklist or whatever you're giving away, I mention how to do this in my uh, lead magnet video, uh, which is a previous episode of this email marketing series. All right, um, so to kind of have this in the whole frame, I'm clicking on the crop uh, icon here and then drag this down so everything's inside of the frame. Then I go back to this um, icon here so I can adjust the, the size of it. So this looks about right. I'm just gonna drag it a little bit to the left and I think it looks good there. So now I'm just gonna uh, enter the text up top here to just kind of make this a little bit faster, I'm going to copy it from the already finished landing page and I'm just going to copy paste it like this. And here again, you just want to kind of make it look nice. You want to drag it um, out so it's easy to read and you can also add bullet points. And this is now gray color. You can, you can change the color by uh, going here and then change it to whatever you want. So um, you can do it red or whatever. I just tend to do it simple and black like this. And um, also I highlight stuff by just doing it bold. You can do it like this and stuff like, yeah, you see um, what I'm talking about. And also here the text, you just wanna uh, type in something like uh, enter your email, name and email to get my my free whatever you're, you're giving away or enter your name and email to join my newsletter. So I'm just again gonna copy this and paste it in here. Um, then center the text, then drag this down a bit like this. Yeah, this on top. I'm not gonna spend too much time because the video would be too long, but um, you kind of get what I'm what I'm doing here. And um, you can always preview what you've done by clicking preview up here. And then you're gonna see how it will look like um, for people. So now they can enter their name and their email address and then click sign up. So I'm just gonna close this up again. So once you think it looks nice, you can also change the button to download or whatever you need it to be. Once you've um, finished this, you wanna make sure to also check out how it looks on the mobile version. And you do that by clicking on the little mobile phone up here. And uh, you see that it doesn't look very good. The text is very small up top, then the picture is too big, and then the text is too big here. So you just wanna adjust it again so that it looks, um, looks good also for users who, um, who see it on their phone. Once this is done, you can go to the thank you page. The thank you page is what they will see uh, after they have um, signed up their name and email address. So um, if you if you wanna send them to a custom website or an affiliate um, offer or something, uh, you don't have to do this. You can just, um, in a next step, you can enter the URL that you wanna send them to after they have entered their, their uh, details here. But if you just wanna have uh, the th regular thank you page, you can use this one. Again, if, if this is the layout that you like, you can use this. Um, what I have done for mine is I have just added a picture and a text. I've just typed in something like, thank you, um, go check your inbox because I'm sending them the ebook to their inbox. Then center, make it bold, make it a little bit bigger. And you can also make it like green for like successful or something like this. Center this year. Yeah, kind of like this. And then I'm also um, gonna just end, add a random picture. Um, I mostly use this one. 
like this. This is like an emoji from Telegram that you can you can find on Google. All right, so again, you can preview it, how it will look when people sign up. Okay, okay, looks good to me. So um, this is finished. Again, we want to check if it also looks good for the mobile version. Okay, looks good to me. So we can now move on uh, once we have set up everything for our landing page to the next step. So up top on the right corner, click next step. All right, so the name uh, we've already entered, this is already uh, in here. You can also give it a description if you want. Uh, if you don't want to index it in the search engine, so if you don't want to um, have people, uh, you want people to be able to find it on Google or Bing, you want to tick this one. But um, yeah, I don't really care, so I'm not going to tick it. Then um, you have the possibility to use your own domain for your landing page. So if you have an own domain, you can click on add a new domain and um, then select it here. But what you have to do th uh, that this actually works, um, you have to add a CNAME entry to your subdomain if you're using a subdomain or change your DNS settings if you're ascending, if you want to uh, display your main domain. Um, for me, I used a subdomain, so you see it's called ebook.learnpassiveincome.com. So I added a CNAME record on my web hosting provider. Um, so uh, this works. Um, if you have trouble you, uh, doing this, then just uh, contact your uh, support from your web hosting provider and they will help you out setting this up. But if you don't have a domain, you have this URL here. And uh, you can adjust this part. You can um, enter like something like uh, free marketing ebook. And then the last part is going to be uh, gr8.com or subscribe, subscribe me now.com or get response pages.com. I, um, in the past, I just used the, the gr8.com, which is fine. All right, so this is what's going to be displayed in the URL up top here. And then we have to choose a list. Um, the list we're going to choose here is the list that the email addresses that are signing up on a landing page will be sent to. So in the previous episode, we've created our get response tutorial one list. So I'm going to choose this one. Um, also, you can again decide if they have to do the confirm opt in or not. Confirm opt in means that um, once they sign up on your landing page, they have to once again confirm and that they actually want to be signed up for your email list by clicking on the link in the email that they will get um, once they they sign up on your landing page. So whatever you need here, just turn it off or on. Then you can add it to a cycle day. This is for autoresponders. If you have up, uh, if you have set up an autoresponder sequence uh, that you're sending everybody who signs up for your email list, you can um, decide on which day they should enter this cycle. I personally don't use autoresponders because I use the automation flow feature in GetResponse, so I'm not gonna, gonna tick this here. I'm gonna show you how to set up this workflow uh, later. Now, um, the thank you page, like I said, you can use the default thank you page. This is the thank you page that we have created before um, with the go check your inbox. And if you wanna send them to a custom website after they've signed up, you can just type the website in here. So for example, if I would um, send them to an affiliate offer, then I would just uh, enter my affiliate link in here so they can sign up, you have their email and also they will see the affiliate offer afterwards. So you might end up making a sale uh, after they've signed up already. Cool, so for now, we're just gonna use the default thank you page that we've created and um, and move on. So analytics and remarketing we're not going to use, but you can do some some tracking, some add some pixel or, or pixels or whatnot. But we're not going to cover it in this tutorial. Cool. So once you have this set up, you're basically finished setting up your landing page, and you can click publish. All right. So well done. You can see your landing page at, and then you see your uh, link that you have. Um, created for your landing page. So let's go check it out how it looks. Um, it looks awful, of course, because I haven't spent any time doing it. But um, this is where you're going to send people to, to this um, URL, and then people will enter their their uh, details. So for me, um, 
for example, Simon, and then I'm just going to enter one of my emails to see if it works. So I'm just going to click on download and then you see the thank you page. Thank you. Go check your inbox. Again, this could be any page you want. It could be like, go subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out this product or watch this video, whatever you want. Cool. So um, now somebody has subscribed to our list via our landing page and let's go check if it's actually in our list. Okay. So in our dashboard, we see that for our list that we have assigned our landing page to, we still have zero subscribers. And the reason is because we have uh, entered the confirm opt in for, uh, for our list. And that's why the person who has entered their email first has to click on the link and that they've now got via email from get response. So I'm just going to quickly go into my email and click on that link. And then you're going to see that the, the new contact will appear here uh, on your list. All right. So I have now uh, confirmed the sign up uh, by clicking on the link in the email and let's now reload the website to see if something changed. Perfect. So now we have um, our first subscriber here in our list. So you see if somebody uh, enters their email on your landing page, it will go to this list and you're ready to basically send them your first email, your welcome email or any anything that you want basically. And that's what, what we're going to do next. We're going to set up our uh, welcome email. All right, so we've now created a landing page where you can send people to sign up for your email list. A big part of your email marketing system is already complete. The next big thing is creating the emails that you'll be automatically sending out once somebody signs up for your email list. In the next episode, I'll show you how to write your first email to welcome your subscribers, to send them your lead magnet, and I'll also give you some tips on how to prevent on ending up in the spam folder. If you got some value out of this video, I'd really appreciate if it give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel so I can continue to create more free training for you. Also subscribe to the channel to not miss any new training videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.